Everything is you. Posted on September 11th, 2011. This is not a philosophical statement or a spiritual one, but rather a highly scientific truth. Everything is just you. There is nothing else present here except you. However, I would like to clarify that by you, I don't mean the you of the brain, because every brain has a me thought about itself, which it associates with the body. By you, I mean the energy that is the creator and the essence of everything, including this body and its brain. The brain does not exist independently, but rather it was created by an intelligence, and you are essentially that intelligence. The intelligence that you are is far beyond the limited intelligence of the brain. But it's possible for the brain to sense the wholeness of who you are. Any brain which can shed its limited perspective will immediately realize that there is just one being, just one consciousness, just one energy, just one space, which manifests as everything. And since this space is all that exists, you are this space in essence. One being, one life. The word life has usually been misinterpreted by the mind. We talk about life and death, when in truth what happens is birth and death. Physical form takes birth and dies or dissolves, but life remains eternally. Life never dies, and it can't possibly die, because it's all there is. Just as noise is born and dies, but silence is eternal. The same way forms arise and dissolve, but life remains eternally. Just as silence has not birth or death, just as nothing does not have beginning or end, the same way life has always been timeless. This life is who you essentially are. You are not just a physical form, a brain, or a body, though it's an expression or creation of you in you. None of this is spiritual or philosophical talk, but a deeply scientific truth. You can easily see the truth of this reality if you just probe a little deeper with your mind in a scientific way, instead of just assuming or accepting some beliefs or perceptions. If your brain can understand physics of this physical universe, like the law of gravity, it can easily understand the physics of life energy. It's not complicated at all. It's very simple and very obvious. Maybe you never saw life this way because you just accepted or assumed certain perceptions without questioning them, just like the ancient people assumed that the earth is flat until they realized that the earth is round. This is an invitation to deepen your contemplation and see the essential truth of the oneness of everything scientifically. It's a tremendous realization when your whole being gets it that you are all there is. You are the one being that exists. This whole universe is you. Don't be a beggar in your own mansion. The way most of us live is akin to being a beggar in our own mansion. This whole world is you. Everything around you is your expression, including this brain that you take yourself to be. Go beyond just looking at yourself as this brain or this body and look deeply at the inherent truth that you are everything. Only then can you sense your wholeness, your totality, your real body. Understand that it's your very nature to create realities through your intent or desire, and you don't have to, and you don't have to live a limited life in any way unless it's a choice you make. Once you know your truth, you have a real choice in how you mold your reality into anything you desire it to be. It takes time before the truth of who you really are starts sinking into the brain, so don't get too impatient with it. Give it time so it can shift its conditioning in accordance with the new understanding that it's gaining. It can take a few months to a year for this new perspective to fully sink in, depending on the receptivity of your brain. Some brains just don't want to accept the limitlessness of the being that you are, mostly because for many years, your whole perception of you has been so limited and negative. It's a groundbreaking shift in perception to suddenly realize that you are not just a limited person, but an energy that is the creator of this whole cosmos. To suddenly realize the truth of your identity can totally shift the way you perceive reality, the way you perceive other people, the environment, and yourself. When you get this truth, 
in your whole being instead of just getting it conceptually, your heart will sing because your mind becomes aligned with its real truth. Implications of waking up to your truth. The implications of realizing the truth of who you are are tremendous because it totally shifts the way you look at life. That's why it's called enlightenment or awakening because you wake up from the wrong vision. When you really know everything is you, it's not possible for you to not it's not possible for you not to develop an unconditional love for what is. You will also see that negativity has no place in the right vision of life. That all negative thoughts are essentially contradicting the truth of life, and that's why they feel negative because they pull away from the natural vibration of life, which is based in love and joy. When you are all there is, if you hate someone or something, you are just hating yourself. And so thoughts of hatred feel bad in your being. That's why when I say that your natural vibration is love, I mean it very scientifically. Negativity is not personal because it's not your natural vibration. Negativity in your brain or in the brains of other people and living organisms is essentially the result of a wrong vision of life. When you don't know who you really are, you are always in the wrong vision. Animals, birds, and other organisms don't have a brain developed enough to contemplate and wake up to their true nature, and hence they exhibit unconscious animal behavior. But a lot of humans have a well-developed brain with capacity for deep contemplation and reasoning, and hence the capacity to come to an understanding of the truth of their existence or their reality. A human brain that wakes up to the true nature of being starts becoming deeply liberated from the bondage of limited or negative thinking. This marks the beginning of a totally new experience of life, a different flavor of experience, a different way of living that is rooted in vibrations of love, joy, and peace.